Mr. Park, when you design our Enclave Holland, what is your consideration for our buyers? I want you to come home to a property that you can sort of wrap your mind around and you are familiar with the spaces you go to and then each of these spaces, each of these apartment, each of these unit you have, you can relate to them and you can recognize even standing at the pool, where is it you are staying, right? Unlike many mass housing, you have difficulty looking which is the unit up in the block that you are staying. So this is something that we, we, we want to uh, address. Mr. Park, so what are the special features about Holland? In the, in right between downtown Orchard Road to Grange area, on the other hand, it's just a stone throw away from all the GCB and very, another form of aspire living, right? You either aspire to be in the good class bungalow, in the Namli across the road and all that. You also aspire to be in downtown Orchard Road among the Ions and uh, Scott Square, right? So you're in the middle and you should enjoy both. And hence the way we created the experience that you approach the condominiums. You don't really see a very high fence. You're walking through more the greenery, above across the pool into the property, right? So that is what we think uh, um, a, a GCB living is in a sense, your, your large garden, you're walking through the garden, driving through the, uh, instead of open the gate, you park your car straight away for most landed house. But GCB, you tend to have uh, a sense of arrival, uh, a much, much bigger foreground. So we're creating that for the condominiums, uh, right? At the, mean, at, the mean, at the same time, we are crafting the building to be like a good uh, high-end condominiums that one, what we often find is very why, why this project is important is because partly I think the, the developers profile, um, they are they're young and um, experimental in design. At least they allow us room to um, develop and express our design, that's one thing. Uh, also, we always believe that Holland Village is a very unique location and it has been quiet in terms of property for the past five, eight years, you know. But in time to come, um, is the government has a very good master plan about for that place and all the new property is coming up and uh, even URA is exper experimenting with a very new concept of uh, town making, uh, the way they blend the residential with the commercial. So I believe this is something when implemented, it's going to create a new sense of place that is very unique to the whole city. And this the project will be in a very good time and good place to tap into this uh, new uh, development that's coming up and hence we think something we put there will make a difference uh. and it also gives us a lot of uh, uh, insp a lot of history and background to draw from to do the design rather than simply so some architect will do their design without even seeing the site or just going down just look at the plan okay just design it pass it to the client and we move on but this is the one that we have to go around, walk around the area at the back there's Chibi Garden which is also quite rich history the Holland Hill very strong character. So we thought it was an interesting project to start with from that angle. Mr. Park, share with us more about your company and the philosophy behind it. What we want architecture to be is like part of life. Um, the same thing I tell all my young architects in the firm. You want to be here, I, I want you to be passionate about what you do to the extent that you will be talking about architecture, about your work, over lunchtime, after work with your friends. Not something that, yeah, you know, but end of the day, you shut down, you go and go to your gym, you go do other things, and you drag yourself back to the office the next day unwillingly. That's the kind of people we don't want. So that reflects the attitude of the firm. And that reflects my, my, my attitude to architecture. And we feel that way because what we build is going to be there, it's going to shape how people live a life, life around. And um, we find that it's going to be there for the next 30, 50 years. And we do not want to treat architecture like commodity. We, we build it quickly, design it in the shortest time, and pass it on to the developer, and you deal with the buyer. That's not something we do. Uh, I think that has um, resulted in us getting a fair amount of uh, recognition uh, over, the, over these past years. Um, for example, our own office, uh, we were awarded the President Design Award in 2015. I think that's one of the highest accolade locally. Um, we have got several recognition even from 
very established magazines in New York, interior design. I think we won it two, two years in a row, uh, three years in a row now. Um, so these are all validation of what we believe architecture to be and uh, confirmation that we are in the right path. And we will let this carry on. And we hope that Enclave, with the developer's help, right, and they're putting attention into actually making sure that the building is built as per our design. From, from the architectural point of view, I would like you to take over the house and you like the project so much, you look out for the next project by the same developer or the same architect or start to read out on the work we do and try to see what other things we are doing and try to then uh, acquire more of such product. I think we believe architecture, architecture houses, property shouldn't be just mere commodity lah, that you build so that you can tear it down 10-15 years later to and cash another on block. We want this place to have meaning to some a place that you can build your house, you build your home on to, to, to to want to keep it and to pass it on. So we want the place to have meaning, to have to, to mean something to you beyond just something that you trade off. All right? Good property, there, there are good properties where owners are just not selling. All right? And we, we want this to be one of those properties.